Good morning everyone. We're coming to you today from Lake Ketchilis up at the Snoqualmie Pass. You've gone by this lake many times going back and forth between eastern and western Washington. We're going to get the boat in the water and show you a little bit about the lake and uh, hopefully catch some fish in the process. So let's go fishing. This boat launch is uh, really just an old road goes into the water and uh, there's a second launch a little farther um, into the lake but that launch is kind of steep and as we progress in the year here it turns into a stump field over there probably don't want to launch in that spot so like I mentioned the launch that's over there is farther in to the lake and there's stumps galore over there there's stumps over here too right now we're about 10 feet of water you can see a stump right there give this another two three weeks this will probably all be high and dry so this is a lake that you want to fish earlier in the season and um, at a certain point you won't be able to launch big boats here but for now we're good we're gonna run all the way down to the dam unless we see some fish in between here and there so um, we'll get the gear down and see if we can find some of these kokanee. The lake is 2,400 acres. We're at 2,500 feet of elevation. And the lake has kokanee in it. It also has rainbow trout. It has bull trout, which are protected. You have to release those. You can only use one rod in this lake. Oh, there's burbot in this lake too, for those of you that like to uh, go after those fish. Well, we didn't get down to the dam yet, but check out those marks on the fish finder. I got to stop and drop our gear down and see what those fish are. First kokanee, first kokanee here on Lake Ketchilis. 11 inches. Well, Is that legal? we'll get him in the bucket, bleed him. With any luck, there'll be another larger class of fish, so we'll see. Got that guy in 40 feet on the downrigger. I've been experimenting with some smaller flies for kokanee. This is another Arctic Fox trolling fly product. It's a single hook kokanee fly. It looks like it's got some good fish catching abilities, so let's drop it down there and give it a try. Fish on! Fish on! Another kokanee. I'll try not to lose it this time. Okay. Small fish, okay. Uh, for this lake, that might actually be a keeper. Yeah. You can keep how, how big of a fish in this lake? No size limit. You can keep 10 kokanee. You can keep two rainbow. They have to be 12 inches minimum. Is he hoistable? Yeah. That's how you hoist the fish. That's how you hoist them. All right, well, you take what the lake gives you, so we're catching 11 inch fish today. Good enough for one person meal. That's right. That's an Arctic box trolling fly. Caught on the treble hook right on the tip of the lip. Of his lip. With an orange horn. 
Arctic Fox is a trusted brand that belongs in every angler's tackle box. In recent Northwest Fishing Reports field test, Kokanee love the all-new Arctic Fox Kokanee Microflies. Ask your retailer today for Arctic Fox Trolling Flies or visit trollingflies.com to order today. Trust Arctic Fox Trolling Flies to get you on the fish. We do. It didn't take too, too long. Oh, fish off. Fish. Another fish. There is such thing as a morning bite. <laughs> Had a study. Yep, no pull. Oh, you God. lost them. The agony of defeat. She won. Next round. us you can see a lot of road work going on they're redoing this whole stretch of I-90 this is a beautiful lake except for the road so you get the traffic sound you get the traffic going by kind of takes away from the Alpine experience just look that direction and ignore that stuff Robbie, it was kind of a tough morning. We didn't exactly slay him today, did we? It was tough, pretty tough, Mike. Nice, the weather was good though, but the fish was not cooperating. Yep, the fish this year are running probably eight to 11 inches, so not great. You know, the advantages of coming out here to Lake Ketchelis, it's only 60 miles from uh, Seattle metro area. Um, the disadvantages, we've talked about, lake gets drawn down later in the year, so it becomes pretty hard to launch a boat, and you got that freeway over there making all that noise. That said, still pretty nice to be out here. It's a great day to be out, especially with your good friends. Just ignore the traffic and the repair that they're doing, but pretty soon that's gonna be done, and this water is gonna be nice to be fishing in. This is the third lake in the I I-90 trifecta for Kokanee. You've got Kachis, Clealum, and Ketchelis. So check them out. We'll see you guys on the water and online.